Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this angle B, C, D is uh, 30 degrees. And moreover, uh, this side uh, A, B is equal to this side uh, A, D. And these two angles are uh, 90 degrees each. And furthermore, uh, this side uh, B, C is uh, 3 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, given uh, trapezoid, Let's recall the area of the trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, the trapezium. The area is always equal to height uh, h times the sum of these two bases uh, a plus b all over 2. And in our case, uh, our bases are uh, a and uh, b, whereas uh, lowercase h is the height. So therefore, now our task is uh, to find uh, this side length uh, cd this side length uh, AB and finally this side length uh, AD as well. So therefore we are going to draw some auxiliary lines uh, to make our job simpler. As you can see in this uh, next step I have dropped this perpendicular BE on this side uh, CD and now I am going to label uh, the side lengths. Uh, I am going to label uh, this uh, side AB as uh, lowercase uh, x since this side AB and this uh, AD are equal in length so therefore this side length is going to be lowercase x as well and since we are dealing with this uh, square ABED so therefore uh, this side uh, BE is going to be lowercase x and this side uh, DE is going to be lowercase x as well and furthermore, I am going to label uh, this segment uh, EC as uh, Y. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. And let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric ratio. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite side uh, divided by the hypotenuse. And in our case, for this angle uh, 30 degrees, this side uh, BE is going to be our opposite uh, side. Whereas uh, this uh, BC is uh, our hypotenuse. So therefore uh, for our case uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees is going to become uh, opposite side is uh, lowercase x uh, divided by 3. And now we know that sine of uh, 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 30 degrees uh, with uh, 1 over 2 on this left hand side. So therefore uh, we can write uh, 1 divided by 2 equal to x uh, divided by 3. And now I'm going to isolate this x by multiplying by 3 on both uh, sides. So therefore we can see this 3 and 3 is gone. So therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 3 divided by 2 units. So thus our uh, x value turns out to be 3 divided by 2. So therefore uh, this side length is going to be 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2 and 3 divided by 2 across the board. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle BEC. And let's recall another trigonometric ratio tangent of theta is always equal to opposite side uh, divided by the adjacent side. So therefore once again for this angle uh, 30 degrees our opposite uh, side uh, BE is uh, 3 divided by 2 and our uh, adjacent uh, EC is Y. So therefore uh, tangent of uh, 30 degrees uh, is going to be equal to our opposite side is 3 divided by 2 divided by our adjacent is y. 
and now let's make an observation 3 divided by 2 divided by y is same as 3 divided by 2y so therefore we can write uh, tangent of uh, 30 degrees equals to 3 divided by 2 times y and now let's make an observation we know tangent of 30 degrees is uh, always 1 divided by square root of 3 so therefore I'm going to substitute this uh, tangent of 30 degree value as uh, 1 divided by square root of 3 on the left hand side so therefore I can write 1 divided by square root of uh, 3 equals to 3 divided by 2 times y let's cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to get 2 times y equal to 3 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now I am going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, y so therefore uh, our uh, y value turns out to be 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 units so thus our this uh, y value which is our ac length uh, is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 so thus our uh, this segment uh, de length is uh, 3 divided by 2 whereas our this uh, ac segment length is uh, 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore our this uh, whole uh, CD length is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual lengths. I can write down uh, 3 divided by 2 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root to 3 all over 2. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again. Area is always equal to height uh, h times uh, the sum of uh, bases a plus b all over 2 and in our case our base a is 3 divided by 2 plus 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 our uh, base uh, b is uh, 3 divided by 2 and the height uh, h uh, is uh, 3 divided by 2 as well so therefore uh, this trapezoid abcd area is going to be a half uh, times uh, our height uh, is uh, 3 divided by 2 times our bases uh, are uh, 3 divided by 2 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 plus our other base is uh, 3 divided by 2 as well and now let's focus on these uh, first uh, two 1 divided by 2 times 3 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 4 and now let's focus on this uh, parenthesis we can see 3 divided by 2 is in common so I can write uh, this thing as 1 plus square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 1 and this uh, 1 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 2 so this simply become 3 divided by 2 times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore uh, I can write this one uh, as uh, 3 divided by 4 and then times uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's multiply these first two so that is going to give us uh, 9 uh, divided by 8 so therefore this trapezoid ABCD area is going to be 9 uh, divided by 8 uh, times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of 3 square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, blue trapezoid turns out to be 9 divided by 8 times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of 3 square units and this area is going to be approximately equal to 4.2 square units as well and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.